Over here, you can see that I have a Google Sheet data where I have some console sales information right here. So if you want to represent this out as a chart inside of Data Studio, then first of all, you need to go to Data Studio right here. So once you go around over here, you need to click on Add Data. And then once you do that, you can see Google Sheet is an option. So what I want to do is import out console sales as an option. So here you can see that it says use first row as a header and include hidden and filtered items. So I want this, so I'm just going to go around and click on add. So once I do that, what happens is that uh, the uh, uh, console sales uh, will be linked out to the report right here and you will be able to see the data right here as you can see. So over here you can see a plain table but you don't see the information exactly like this. That is because the dimension is console right now as you can see and the metric is record count. So instead of record count, let's say I want it to be the total right here. So let me just add in the total and you can see the total right here. I don't want the record count, so I'm just going to disable this and you can see the number right here, the console and the total as you can see right here. But this itself is just the table. You can represent this out in a chart as well. So to do that, I'm going to go to add a chart and let's say I'm going to bring in a pie chart right here and click on this just like this. Once I do that, you only see PlayStation right now because the dimension is there and the metric is total as you can see right here. So let me just go around over here on to uh, the console right here. So this is the dimension as you can see, just like this. So uh, if I were to go around right here and then uh, click outside, you can see that this is related with this. So if I were to go around and click on the switch, then it shows the switch right here. If I were to click on 3DS, it shows the 3DS. But as soon as I go around and click on this one, you can see that uh, this is what you have right here. So similarly, you can add in charts as you can see right here. So you can go around and then add in, let's say, column chart right here. And then you will see the information accordingly right here in a column chart, as you can see. So it is based on this, as you can see. And you can also go around and add in more data as you wish. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a chart. And one of the options that you have is the totals as well. So let me just go around. Then you can see that the total is this right here, which takes in the value from the metric itself. Then you can see that you can place these uh, charts according to how you want right here. And you can go around, click on it and everything else uh, changes out accordingly right here. You can see it's highly interactive right here. And that is how you can add in charts inside of uh, Google Data Studio. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.